So, I could wake her up and torture her about it, or I could just leave it and hope for the best. The second one. She's probably forgotten, and you'll just be reminding her. Who's forgotten what? Well, nosy. Sorry. Clemmy. Yeah, this aggro and Millie. I don't want her to bring it up at the assessment. Haven't you got something to say about that? Yes. Um, I'm sorry if I overreacted. I was thinking back to when I was their age. She had no smart comments. Children are territorial, like cats. I mean, I'll be spitting and clawing at any kid who stepped on my patch. <laughs> no doubt. I just don't want social services to latch onto it, blow it out of proportion. Y you know it's today. I'd forgotten. I'll talk to Millie. What will you say? I'll tell her to look after Clemmy. Make a fuss of her. She'll enjoy that, feeling all important. Thanks. You know, they're not in the business of splitting up families for the sake of it. And it should be obvious to them that's exactly what you are. You two, Lucas, Clemmy. A proper little family. What have I done? Nothing. Just a little chat, that's all. What for? Well, we think Clemmy's having a bit of a hard time at the moment. And we wondered if you might like to help. I'm having a hard time. OK. I don't like Clemmy. Well, it's good to have things out in the open, isn't it? Do you think you could just try really hard to make Clemmy feel welcome? Thank you. And you never know. The more you get to know her, the more you might like her. Can I go now? Yeah, of course you can. How did that go? I can't even tell. I've got no idea. Right, I should probably get back to work. Do you want to celebrate later? Pub? Well, I was thinking more like cake and party food for Clemmy, but if you want to make it all about you, then yeah. No, that sounds bad. Yeah, sorry about the whole kids are like cats thing. But, um, I panicked and it popped into me because Kim said it. Billy, you did brilliantly. What? <sighs> Millie? My arm! Clemmy, you all right? Show me. What happened? Look, that's what happened. I didn't do anything. You keep back. Are they? Teeth marks. Looks like it. Clemmy bit me. I didn't do it. Well, look. She hardly bit herself, did she? I didn't bite her. You couldn't have grabbed her or something. Does that look like a grab? I didn't even touch her. OK. Do you think you could have banged it or scraped it on something? What, like a set of teeth? Why would she lie? I'm not saying she's lying, Kim. I didn't do anything. OK. OK, really. But this isn't helping. It's pretty far from OK. Put some of this on, Sue. It's cold. Can I go? No. Uh, well, yeah, why don't you go and do some drawing, OK? It's all pretty weird. Pretty weird? Do some drawing? Is that it? I don't know. Need a word? Uh, we're just about to go out, actually. You can go out after. She's scared to be by herself. She says Clemmy attacked her with no provocation. There was no argument, nothing at all. She just flew at her, grabbed her arm and sunk her nails in. So now it's her nails. I, I thought you said it was... Just wait a minute, I'm finished. As she tried to pull her arm away, Clemmy bit her, like an animal. Right. Why don't we all sit down with the kids and talk? No. Oh, come on, Dawn. Is that what you'd want? After you'd been viciously attacked, forced into a room with your assailant and told to talk it out? No, leave that to the hippie school teachers. There's got to be more to this. 
blaming the victim. No, I mean that kids scrap. You said it yourself, they're territorial. But they don't chew each other's limbs off. You two both need to stop minimising what was a horrible and vicious attack. I mean, <laughs> what Clemmy did is not normal. And it's not the first time, either. Don't forget what happened in the playground with Lucas. Uh, she's just watching the movie on her tablet. Yes? Well, if you won't let us bring them together, then what do we do? This was Millie's house before it was Clemmy's. Meaning? Meaning I've got responsibilities too. And Millie is actual family. What was it you were saying this morning about us four? A proper little family? And I even sat Millie down and told her she needed to welcome Clemmy in. But I clearly wasn't armed with all the facts. Dad? It's just Kim's house. You've got to be joking. Dad, will you tell her that she's blowing this into something ridiculous? I think what Kim's trying to say is... I'm saying I don't think Clemmy can stay here. 